Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a Gemini love reading for February. Let's see what's going on with Gemini's. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, okay? Or cross watchers or whoever is watching for Gemini. It could even be North Node. If you see a reading and it resonates with you, then that is your reading and it's meant for you, okay? So let's get into the reading here. Just drop some cards and see what is going on with Gemini's in love for February, okay? I'm just going to start off with the regular, um, well, it's actually a different variation of the Rider Waite, but it's the same Rider Waite images. Okay, so Gemini, what's happening for you guys? I've got Four of Swords, okay? Maybe getting your mind straight, taking some mental break from something, trying to figure out your thoughts being very silent maybe you're on a break from somebody okay um this is just like space and like taking care of yourself okay and clearing your thoughts so let's see what else is going on it could also be that the person you're wanting to communicate is not communicating to you and we've got ten of wands so this could either be your energy or their energy where I feel like it's the person you're dealing with. They're carrying a very heavy load. And if they're not communicating with you right now, it's because they're trying to navigate this part of their life, okay? But this could also be you letting go of heaviness from the past, wanting to clear your space, wanting a whole new kind of dynamic, having maybe learned like major significant lessons in love. I've got five of swords. So there's definitely a lot of heavy energy. I don't see it. Um, well, four of swords is positive, but... Five of Swords is sort of like a selfish energy or feeling like you're alone in this, okay? Not feeling supported. Maybe you feel like you're in a dynamic that's just not working for you and you're having to take a lot of time to like recharge your battery, to like get your space, your mind space right, okay? Maybe this situation is really weighing heavily on you. That's kind of the feeling I'm getting. Now, this could even be something from the past. It doesn't necessarily have to be something currently going on i feel like you're carrying a heavy burden that's kind of the message i'm getting but it could also be with the six of cups that you are going to have a reconciliation with someone but i'm getting the feeling that this is you being very nostalgic you're reflecting back on the past something about the past is like really do like dogging you i want to say like it's really on your mind a lot you're trying to navigate this stuff this painful thing that happened to you and you're very, you're also feeling very sentimental about it okay interesting gemini all right so let's get some from my love games see what other energies are going on here gemini private conversations that's what okay so that's kind of confirmation for that six of cups where you might end up meeting up with someone from the past and talking about it you guys might have a conversation you guys maybe need to clear the air that could be what that four of swords is about too okay interesting you could have had a conversation that triggered you or but i feel this is like you needing to talk to this person you guys having to clear the air and in this private converse, conversation, they actually may surprise you and, um, you know, show appreciation for you and actually show you a love that they never showed you before. So I'm getting a very good feeling about that, okay? I'm gonna pull two more cards. Creative solutions and shadow side. Okay, so this person could have done a lot of shadow work. They could want to solve this issue. I do feel like you're moving in a more productive way. So if you've been very stressed, if you've not having clarity, I feel like you guys, if you can um, show your shadow side of each other and both come to this place where you're mature enough to have this conversation where you really work through things, I feel like you guys can move forward in a really positive direction. And um, I feel like this person, you illuminated a lot for this person. You made them look at their shadow side and you've actually helped them to grow. And maybe you needed space from them. They needed space from you to really realize that. Interesting. Okay, let's get some more. This is from my moody moon, my more moody moon messages, masculine 
and I'm going to use um, Mystic Moon's Oracle deck, so the Twin Flame Journey Oracle deck. And so let's see. We've got this. This deck has been through a lot, as you could see. Karmic Partner. Okay, so that could be what's heavily weighing on both of you. There's been a third party situation that's really made this situation a lot more complicated. And you know, when there's a karmic partner, it means that there's lessons to be learned, okay? The moon is here, it's for us to go more into our shadow side. It brings up a lot of shadow in both people, which we already had that shadow energy, okay? Hurt, upset, emotional, distraught, but this is the masculine. So the masculine could have also seen someone in your life that was very threatening to them, that actually hurt them. But I also feel like, they hurt themselves by choosing the karmic partner, okay? Now, they may not have admitted that to you, but this was an easier route for them, and I feel like they thought it was a safer route, but they're actually kind of emotionally distraught about this. Yeah, but the karmic partner is a barrier, okay? So it's been like a lot of obstacles with you guys. There's been maybe a karmic partner doesn't just have to be a lover. It could be a friend. It could be a, a job. It could be an addiction, okay? But there's been something standing between you and this person really having like a sense of peace, a sense of lightness in your connection. And we've got nurturing, caring, loving, compassionate. But I feel like despite what's happened with you guys, I do feel like this person cares a lot more deeply than they le lead on to. And it's affected them a lot more deeply than it seems, okay? I want to pull from my doubts of divine masculine and see what kind of like internal thoughts they're having or doubts that are happening for them with this. What are their doubts? Some of these could be triggering, so just a forewarning. Can I still focus on my work even if I fall madly in love with you, okay? So I feel like if they chose a karmic partner, it's because that person didn't, like, consume their thoughts the way they f were fearing you would. They felt like they had the potential to really fall for you and that it would interfere with some work. I told you guys the karmic partner could literally also be their job, okay? Gemini's. I still have abandonment wounds from my childhood, okay? So I feel like this person pushes people away because they're still dealing with their own wounds, okay? They also could have maybe feared that you wanted children. Maybe they feel like they're just not ready for that sort of commitment. Okay. I feel like we're getting a lot of information here, though. If you guys had a specific person in mind if you didn't this could be someone you're dealing with in february you could meet someone that has some abandonment wounds that's like a workaholic so just be prepared for all of that don't say i didn't warn you <laughs> okay gemini's all right this is going to be love notes to my valentine because this is going to be valentine's month this is from rising sun oracle what does this person want to express to you from their higher self just flipping the cards over. All right. What does this person want to say to Gemini? Take my hand and hold it forever. So to me, this is like I just said that they have an issue with commitment. And I feel like they feel like you're the one they would want to spend their life with if they were doing that. So I feel like they're conflicted because they see you as husband-wife material, but yet... They're, they have these fears, and so they're, they're conflicted inside, and that's like a heavy burden that they carry, this fear. You had me at hello. So this was, wow, this was like a connection that it was an instant spark, okay? And that six of cups that I pulled in the beginning is that kindred spirit. It's like you guys knew each other in another lifetime. So it's a soulmate. It's a soulmate that you've probably had for lifetimes before, okay? Please say yes. Look at this. There's two kind of like marriage energies. This also, I feel like them, you know, wanting to know for sure that you really love them, that you're not going to leave them. Satin sheets and red roses. So this person feels very romantic about you. They feel, um, please say yes to me, is sort of like a, a really desperate energy. I actually feel like their feelings are a lot deeper than they've made it seem. That's the feeling I get. And they're very captivated by you. 
and they felt like when they first met you, it was like this rush of like familiarity for them. All right. All right, Geminis, that is your reading. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope it resonated and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.